Hello, my name is Adrian, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the chain on your bike. Some of the reasons you want to do this is you want to extend the life of your gears and your entire drivetrain, of course. Also, you want to be safe. Some things you need to replace your chain are a chain checker, a chain tensioner, missing link pliers, a chain tool, a new missing link and a new chain, and a rag chain loop and a brush. So first thing we need to do is get the chain down to the smallest gear on the freewheel and the largest gear on the chain wheel up front. Switch down to the smallest gear on the back. Now this way we can work on it. First thing I want to do is to check the chain to see if it is stretched. We're going to use an easy chain checker for this. Just put it into a roller and if it drops through like so that means the chain is stretched. But we'll check another spot just to make sure and it is. I'm going to do a little bit more detailed check using a digital chain checker. Squeeze the arms together and then press zero to calibrate. While you're still squeezing the arms together, then you can drop it into a roller like so and carefully let go. Now we can see that this chain is almost at point eight, so it does need to be replaced. What I need to do first is find my missing link. Oh, here it is. And I'm going to use a chain tensioner to get some slack in the chain so it's easier to work with. So just pop that into a roller on either side and then we have this slack which makes it easier for me to use my missing link pliers. I'm going to use some missing link opener pliers here. Put your missing link pliers into the chain. Hold each side of the chain and then squeeze. Now the missing link is open. You can take it apart and then take it out. Then release your chain tensioner slowly so you don't damage your drivetrain. And what I want to do here is make sure that the chain is above the chain stay because you don't want to damage it. So slowly pull from the back while holding up. And our old chain is off. Now what I need to do is measure this against the new chain to see if there is anything that we need to cut off. So our new chain is longer than the old chain which means we need to get rid of some of the links. Now that I've measured my old chain against my new chain, I can cut the new chain with a chain tool like this. The first thing you want to do is clear the handle from the cradle. Also choose the setting where you can take the pin out and then loosen your locking nut. I've got my new chain here. Put it on the cradle like so. Tighten the locking nut and then advance this, the handle, until you feel a little pressure and then you can apply pressure to put the pin out. Now that your pin is pushed out, you can release your handle and release your locking nut and then carefully take the chain out. Now I want to break the chain apart. Just apply a little bit of pressure on opposite ways. Now that we've cut our chain, we need to clean the ends of the rollers out so we get any debris out of there. Take a cloth, the small end of your cloth, and just put it through the roller like this and give it a good clean. Now add a little bit of oil for some lubrication and we can put this chain on the bike. The first thing you need to do here, the easiest way, take your derailleur and just pop it up backwards and then you can just drop your chain straight in like so. Get some slack on this side, bring it up, and then put it around the smallest cog of your freewheel. Slowly pull it over that, and you can apply it, put it on your front chain wheel, and then pull it through. Now you can see that I've left a little bit of slack here so that'll give us enough room to pull it together. Always use a new missing link with your new chain for safety. 
put the missing link into opposite sides of the chain, like so, and then apply pressure to each side. And then we can bring it together like so. Now make sure not to close your missing link because we're going to do that with uh, pliers to make it more safe. We have our closing pliers here. Put it into opposite sides of the missing link. Hold the missing link and squeeze. And you'll hear the click and you know it's closed. But give it a good shake just to make sure. Another way to close the missing link is to apply pedal power. What you want to do here is the missing link is closed but not locked. Hold the rear wheel and apply pressure to the pedal. And there we go. It's closed. Make sure for safety. Now that we've taken the bike from the stand, I'll show you another way to close the missing link using pedal power. Hold each side of the missing link and then we're just going to give it a little force to close it. You can see that the missing link is closed and check it for safety. And now you're ready to hit the road. I hope you enjoyed watching this and I really hope you try it home. Thank you.